What's up, family? Welcome to Keys of Creation. It's your boy, Jay Brave, and I'm here to help you unlock the infinite potential of your creative expression. Today's theme and prompt to ponder is, as artists, what stops us from showing up and sharing our gifts? You know, for me, as an artist of 25 plus years, there have been so many moments where I felt inhibition around sharing my, my gifts, whether on stage, on social media, to my friends and family even. And I want to help you Tap into that, confront it in a healthy way, and learn some tools to really overcome those fears and doubts that inhibit us from really being fully expressed. I'll start by saying this, you know, I feel a lot of it starts with self-worth and self-value, you know? Sometimes we don't value ourselves to the highest degree as artists. It can be very vulnerable to share our stories, to put something out there and not feel a reciprocation, to feel a sense of like, okay, I'm doing this work to share this story, this poem, this song and not receive a level of reciprocity in exchange. And I think it's a true practice of unconditional love. You know, can one truly show up in service with one's gifts and realize, you know what? It's not even about me. I'm just a vessel allowing the universe to express through me as me and in all ways. And if we can do that in that space of unconditional love, perhaps it will enable us to really, really, really show up a little more clear and more concise and more open and authentic to reveal what wants to be shared. Let's start with social media. That's a huge one. Sometimes in social media, it can be so tough and daunting to put a post out there, especially if you're doing it in a creative way. You're putting yourself in the public platform, sometimes the people you don't know really, or sometimes your best friends. And there could be some deep down level of shame. I mean, shame is such a profound teacher. I like to call it teacher. It's not a good, bad, right or wrong feeling or emotion, but it can teach you so much. For me, what's on the other side of shame when I tune into my feelings of being a mixed kid, I grew up with some religious conditioning. I grew up as a young person trying to share my story, my gifts, and sometimes I was belittled because of that when I was coming up in the beginning. But ultimately I realized shame is here to teach me the power of celebration, to celebrate myself. Sometimes we seek the validation of others to feel celebrated, but can we give that celebration to ourselves? And that's a true defining aspect of shame. And just feeling a sense of belonging. You know, we all want to feel that sense of belonging showing up to our social circles with a sense of embrace, appreciation, acknowledgement, and healthy validation, I'll say. It's a normal thing, you know what I mean? And I feel like to know that is important, to know the spectrum of these emotions is very important. That way when we're going through something, we can only, sometimes we only will feel one side of it, one side of that sacred contrast. But if we see both sides of it, we know that it's really teaching us a lesson in this time. So social media can be really tough because I feel like it brings up a lot of insecurities around our offerings and our gifts. And I feel like my advice around that is really to tell a story that's authentic to you. Don't worry about the likes, the comments, the followers. Don't worry about what people say. Like, allow the transmission to come through from a space of unconditional love. And those that really resonate with it will acknowledge it. And sometimes it's not about the numbers. It's about the prayer being cast out into the universe. And in time, the more authentic you get at doing it, the numbers will naturally grow organically. Do you know what I mean? So that's my thoughts about social media. Here's a thought about performing live on stage. Maybe it's an open mic or a story. It's like, it's a similar vibration of frequency. I guess the thing that I remind myself when I go up on stage is, I'm really just singing to God. I'm singing to the divine, to source, the creator. And I'm allowing others to witness me in that ceremony. It's a very ceremonious experience when I'm performing live. I remind myself this is a prayer, a collective prayer with those around me that are experiencing this collective prayer. And if they tune into it, if they align themselves to it, if they really um, accept the vibration and frequency, it becomes like a really powerful transmission that's moving through. So my invitation is always like, remind yourself it's a collective prayer. It's not about you. You're allowing this transmission to move through you as you in all ways. And in the ceremonious space, just sing to the divine. Sometimes close your eyes. Allow that channel to come through in the most beautiful divine way. And others will align to that presence, that true presence that you have. Because when you're thinking about other people, what they think, what they say, what they're thinking about you, you step out of that presence. You step out of that, that true level of um, awakening and, and, and presence of spirit in heaven in that exact moment. So my invitation is always like, allow it to be a prayer for the divine and tap into your true presence. And then another form of sharing that sometimes we feel inhibited by is just sharing to ones around us. You know, what would it feel like to even approach the ones that you know will love you or care about you and share a poem or a song, even in private. Sometimes it will be received with a deep level of appreciation. Sometimes it can be received with a level of like, oh, that was cool, but whatever, you know? But it's like tuning into who can really use that medicine. Like, 
Who can use the medicine of you sharing a poem today? Maybe it's your grandmother you haven't talked to in a while. Maybe it's a niece, a nephew, your child, a loved one. Like taking the time to really share a piece of your heart where someone can really lift up their, lift up their day. And it can be very provocative to really tune into that space and frequency um, and allowing it to be a reciprocal exchange. Sometimes you, not, you may know that someone may give you some terrible feedback or may not be open to receive it. So maybe that's not the person you want to share with. You know what I mean? I think tuning into who can use the medicine, maybe a friend you haven't talked to in a long time or your beloved, it can really go a long way in building up your self-esteem and encouragement in your practice and being in service with your gifts. And so ultimately, those are some thoughts about overcoming the feeling and the things that stop us from inhibiting us from, from showing up and sharing our gifts. Um, ultimately, it's an act of service. Like Gandhi says, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And I feel like when we can remind ourselves that our expression, our poetry, our songs, they're really acts of service to the world. You know, we're meant to heal ourselves first. And then through the process of sharing these incredible gifts, it has an impact, the potential to, to help heal others if they choose that frequency of vibration. So just remember that it's an act of service. It can be done with unconditional love. It's not about the ego feeling some kind of way. If those feelings come up, confront them and talk to them in a, in a vulnerable way. Sit with them, process with them, but don't allow them to inhibit you from being fully expressed in your process. It's an act of service, connection to the divine, and ultimately it's a true practice of unconditional love. I hope you enjoy enjoyed today's transmission. I hope you enjoyed the vibrations. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Please follow me, please share this, please spread the word. And please join us every Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time for the Keys of Creation weekly call through our live community. We'd love to have you in this space if you feel inspired. Check the link in the comments for more information. And I'm sending you love. Jay Brave, a.k.a. Brave, Kind Soul, Keys of Creation. You know what it is. Big love. Blessings.